Hello and welcome to another episode of Genuine Healing Down Under with your hosts, me, Marvin Schneider. And me, Jen Ward. Hi, everybody. This is episode number 32 of our daily rejuvenation series. It's entitled Discerning Truth, a pretty important topic for anyone that cares about anything. Yeah, and we're getting a lot of resistance in just recording this because it is so important. It seems so simple, but it's so important. So what do you want to say about it before we get into the taps? Because it's, the funny thing is that as we're recording this, um, every time we try and provide some context and commentary around the topic, the, the topic of truth is so charged and loaded because everyone has their truth and is so connected to their truth and won't let their truth go. And then, but, you know, part of this, the spiritual principle is allowing other people to live within their their own truth and and it's a very charged and ambiguous topic absolutely and right around the world right now there's there's forces trying to program what truth is to eight billion people do you agree um yes so <laughs> Again, I'm a very practical person, so whatever it is that we offer here, I would like to um, make it relevant so that people can do something with it. So um, let's let's see where what we're offering here. So here's the thing: the, these tabs I wrote were were um, I wrote them out one night. You were sleeping and stuff, and I I fed them out to social media one by one because I was so frustrated everyone out there who supposedly knows some aspect of truth was not given actual truth, but they were given conjecture, opinions, or they were pumping up their own ego. So I wrote out these tabs for people to dissipate that. There seems to be this psychic energy preventing people from delving into their own truth. So this, this, video of uh, these tabs of tabbed in your own truth might be one of the most important tabs, set of tabs that you do. Um, I think what we're really doing is uh, spurring or um, encouraging people to step up to the plate and, uh, you know, be champions of the real, the real work in their own empowerment and you know healing their own body mind and soul because when you do that then you know you're doing your bit to um positively contribute to the broader collective it takes either it takes every every ounce of discipline you can to pierce through and and be empowered in your own truth or it takes a whole shitload of pain to make you want to get truth because you can't handle the pain so much. So what we're doing here is providing a way to get to truth without having to go through so much pain. In the taps? Yeah. So um, what do you say to those that have a bit of an inkling that there's a lot of mistruth, misunderstanding, plain old um, false narrative and they're aware of it. I mean, w one response is you basically disconnect from, you know, mainstream. That's one way of shielding yourself from it. But it, but you know, <laughs> yeah. The thing is, is just disconnecting from mainstream isn't isn't going to do it because it's just a level of lies. Because I was in this cult, which was supposed to be the ultimate truth. And it did challenge all of those cultural, politics, and religious um, um, trappings. And then it created a trapping of its own. This cult created a trapping of its own, where you were no longer free unless you agreed with what this cult was saying. So, so that's not the answer either. The individualized work is the answer. Hmm. Um. Yes, I, I, I agree that simply burying your head in the sand is not, I mean, that's one response is that you just shut down from mainstream and just don't try and shield yourself from 
the nonsense that's out there so that it doesn't come in here. And I, I suspect a lot of people are doing an aspect of that. So that's one response. Uh, the, the better response is to do the work and participate with us in this daily rejuvenation, the taps that we're going to be doing here, and you know all of the other work that we're doing so that, um, so that ultimately more people can stop the perpetuation of all of the nonsense and, and reduce the level of noise out there. Absolutely. And the difference between, because I hear the the people listening, I hear them saying it's like, well, what's the difference between you and some other crackpot, right? Right, right. I did want to actually address that. Well, the answer I got is we're not filling in the blanks of what to believe in. We're simply releasing everything that's getting in the way of you directing, tapping into your own direct knowingness. And believe more in yourself. Connect to truth for yourself instead of an outside source. But so there are various aspects of what I would consider to be pinnacle truth that we do offer. Um, and we do offer breadcrumbs of insight. But we're not, we don't take it to the next level, which is, you know, unless you buy into this whole package of narrative, then, you know, you're the damned and, you know, taking it to that level. But we, we certainly do offer what we consider to be truth and allow others to contemplate that. Well, there is a synergy in working with people who have done the work. You and I have done the work. And then we do get people who benefit from what we do and then they go off on their own which is fine and they don't ever look back which is fine but they're they're missing the opportunity to work with a synergy that's always there for them yeah i think one of the the things that i always come to is um once you're empowered and you start doing the work and you find your own empowerment, you find comfort in your center, you find a connection to source and you have gratitude. The next step then is to use that for the benefit of others. And one of the best ways to do that is in synergy with the work that we're doing here. Well, it's like, Yes, because it's like reinventing the wheel. Nobody needs to reinvent the wheel to create a luxury car. It's already been made. We've reinvent, we've created this wheel of how to pierce consciousness to get to that next layer. So why not benefit from it? Right. Um, was there anything else that you wanted to say about discerning truth? Yeah, what's happening in the world right now is it's getting buried in, and buried and buried in layers of platitude. So as as people wake, it's great because people are waking more up. But as they're waking more up, they're just getting buried even more and more platitudes. You know, all these conspiracy theories and all these things, these lateral forms of looking for truth. When all they have to do is look within their own consciousness they have all the answers. Ask the questions to your own innate wisdom and you'll get the answers. Yeah, um, it is interesting that um, there is a lot of noise out there. And, and I am I am one of those that really doesn't have a lot of tolerance for platitudes. So I'm not on social media, for example. I don't have a Facebook account. But every now and then, Jen, when you show me some of the content that's out there under the guise of sort of spiritual wisdom, you know, memes and, you know, various other things, I, I look at it and I go, and it's it just leaves me empty. <laughs> it's just, it's yeah. like a, you know, a real so what. And But, you know, the thing is that um, there is so much of this out there that it consumes a lot of attention yeah. from those that, you know, could be using their attention more productively. 
So, Jen, you're going to be providing a series of SFT taps around the topics of truth to help people um, gravitate in their own truth. I'm going to repeat it on behalf of the listener and repeat the statement three times while continuously tapping on the top of the head, the fourth time while continuously tapping on the chest, and a fifth time while continuously tapping on the abdomen. You ready? I am indeed. We release being duped our whole life in all moments. We release being duped our whole life in all moments. We release being duped our whole life in all moments. We release being duped our whole life in all moments. We release being duped our whole life in all moments. We release being duped our whole life in all moments. We release being used to spread weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being used to spread weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being used to spread weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being used to spread weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being used to spread weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being used to spread weapons of mass deception in all moments. We eliminate the first cause and believe in weapons of mass deception in all moments. We eliminate the first cause in believing weapons of mass deception in all moments. We eliminate the first cause in believing the weapons of mass deception in all moments. We eliminate the first cause in believing weapons of mass deception in all moments. We eliminate the first cause in believing weapons of mass deception in all moments. We eliminate the first cause in believing weapons of mass deception in all moments. We remove all weapons of mass deception from our beingness in our moments. We remove all weapons of mass deception from our beingness in all moments. We remove all weapons of mass deception from our beingness in all moments. We remove all weapons of mass deception from our beingness in all moments. We remove all weapons of mass deception from our beingness in all moments. We remove all weapons of mass deception from our beingness in all moments. We release be invested in weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being vested in weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being vested in weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being vested in weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being vested in weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release being vested in weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release formulating our existence on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release formulating our existence on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release formulating our existence on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release formulating our existence on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release formulating our existence on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release formulating our existence on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse and dissolve the arms race and stockpiling weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse and dissolve the arms race in stockpiling weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse and dissolve the arms race in stockpiling weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse and dissolve the arms race in stockpiling weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse and dissolve the arms race in stockpiling weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse and dissolve the arms race in stockpiling weapons of mass deception in all moments. We strip all illusion off of the kingpins and are subscribing to weapons of mass deception in all moments. We strip all illusion off of the kingpins in us subscribing to weapons of mass deception in all moments. We strip all illusion off of the kingpins in us ascribing to weapons of mass deception in all moments. We strip all illusion off of the kingpin in us ascribing to weapons of mass deception in all moments. We strip all illusion off of the kingpins in us ascribing to weapons of mass deception in all moments. We strip all illusion off of the kingpins in us ascribing to weapons of mass deception in all moments.
We dissipate all psychic streams of energy that perpetuate weapons of mass deception in all moments. We dissipate all psychic streams of energy that perpetuate weapons of mass deception in all moments. We dissipate all psychic streams of energy that perpetuate weapons of mass deception in all moments. We dissipate all psychic streams of energy that perpetuate weapons of mass deception in all moments. We dissipate all psychic streams of energy that perpetuate weapons of mass deception in all moments. We dissipate all psychic streams of energy that perpetuate weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release building legacies on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release building legacies on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release building le legacies on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release building legacies on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release building legacies on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We release building legacies on weapons of mass deception in all moments. We remove all weapons of mass deception from the societal foundation, from our societal foundation in all moments. We remove all weapons of mass deception from our societal foundation in all moments. We remove all weapons of mass deception from our societal foundation in all moments. We remove all weapons of mass deception from our societal foundation in all moments. We remove all weapons of mass deception from our societal foundation in all moments. We remove all weapons of mass deception from our societal foundation in all moments. We collapse and dissolve all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse and dissolve all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse and dissolve all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse and dissolve all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse and dissolve all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We collapse and dissolve all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We transcend all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We transcend all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We transcend all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We transcend all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We transcend all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We transcend all weapons of mass deception in all moments. We are centered and empowered in the peace and calm of truth in all moments. We are centered and empowered in the peace and calm of truth in all moments. We are centered and empowered in the peace and calm of truth in all moments. We are centered and empowered in the peace and calm of truth in all moments. We are centered and empowered in the peace and calm of truth in all moments. We are centered and empowered in the peace and calm of truth in all moments. Take a deep breath. So the beauty of this is no matter what you believe right now, no matter what, what is stitched into your understanding of yourself and society, those will be gently removed and you'll be moved closer towards truth in just doing these taps. Hmm. I mean, if anything, the taps are a gentle way of just slowly, slowly opening up your energy to receive truth. And um, the interesting thing is that in the, uh, the boiling frog syndrome, you know, that metaphor. Um, so when you're doing the work on, you know, day in, day out, you may not uh, realize the profound shifts that are taking place. But when you look back, you know, a month later or two months later, it's like you won't recognize yourself. So there's that. We heal all frogs that were slowly boiled in our moments. <laughs> we heal all frogs that were slowly boiled in our moments. We heal all frogs that were slowly boiled in our moments. We heal all frogs that were slowly boiled in our moments. We heal all frogs that were slowly boiled in our moments. I don't think it is an actual thing. I think it is just a metaphor. It happens, babies. It happens. It's a pretty, yeah. Anyway, um, uh, there are those that will be doing the work on this daily rejuvenation called uh, discerning truth and recognize the topic area around mass, weapons of mass deception. So we did a live stream uh, a little while back 
around weapons of mass deception. And so, um, you know, if you get to do these taps from a slightly different perspective, um, even better. Yeah. So, so the people who, who know my works know I say, don't do the taps twice. Don't ever do the taps twice. But the beauty of what we just did is we, we may have repeated the taps, but the world is at such a different state of consciousness since the first time you did them because of the work. So so it's okay to do the taps again if you recognize them. Okay. Thanks for facilitating those. Thanks to the listener for tuning in. Uh, we trust that you are benefiting from these daily rejuvenations. Leave a comment uh, down below in YouTube. Let us know how you're getting along with it. Um, look forward to catching you next time and bye for now. Bye for now, everybody.